In parts one and two of this series, we discussed patients who have malfunctioning tracheostomies. Today, let's discuss special considerations for patients with laryngectomies. Patients who have had laryngectomies have the trachea sutured to the skin of the anterior neck, which means that the trachea no longer communicates with the oropharynx, so these patients cannot be orally intubated or mask ventilated. A survey of otolaryngologists demonstrated that over half had experienced a situation where healthcare providers attempted to orally intubate or mask ventilate a patient with a total laryngectomy. When this occurred, the mortality rate was 26%. If a patient with a total laryngectomy experiences respiratory distress, an oxygen mask should be placed over the stoma site. If positive pressure ventilation is needed, a cuffed tracheostomy tube or appropriately sized endotracheal tube can be inserted into the stoma. As the trachea is directly sutured to the skin, it is more difficult to advance an endotracheal tube into a false passage. For more details on the care of patients with laryngectomies and tracheostomies, head over to the June 2025 APSF newsletter.